Hey guys, it's me, EOD Gamer here, and in this video, I'm actually going to be comparing E0 Akron with her signature light cone, as well as Good Night Sleep Well at Super in position 5. Now, what is the difference between these two? Which is actually better and which should you pick up first? For those of you who are regular viewers of the channel, you know that I always give you a TLDR. And in this video, I also want to talk about Super in position 5. I'm doing this at the end of the testing, so this is all after the testing has been done already. Uh, in my opinion, like the long story short, the damage difference between Good Night Sleep Well as well as uh, her signature light cone is roughly, based on uh, the calculations that we had, it's like 30%-ish kind of damage difference, especially if you're hitting multiple enemies. Uh, and all of them have to have like three debuffs in order to get the max uh, buff from Good Night Sleep Well. Because if you don't know, for Good Night Sleep Well to get the max like 72% buff at Super Imposition 5, you need to have three debuffs on every single enemy. When you have a single target, a uh, nihility character, for example, like Silver Wolf, it does become a little bit trickier to do to prop all of the maximum debuff. That is when like S1 becomes a lot more consistent. You gain a lot of consistency, and not only that, you get the expected damage increase that you would for a signature light cone. I think this is super, super strong. If you were to ask me honestly which to a uh, small spender free to play that has saved up really long or lucky free to play, or maybe even a small whale. Which do you go for? Do you go for E2 first or e S1? My honest opinion is go for S1 first. There's not really many options available right now in the game. You have a good night sleep well and that's about it. The rest of them are very, very... You sacrifice something somewhere in terms of like 5 star stats, damage or debuffs and whatever not. So I would say S1 is probably more crucial to make your Akron feel good. Um, S2, E2 is of course the insane cherry on top. Is this worth it to go for? Yes, it really is. And the, I mean, you will see at the part, the like the next part of this video, we will actually do the test live, and the damage increase is really insane. Why is it so good? For those of you who don't know, normally when you pull Eidolons, it's around a twenty percent increase in terms of utility. S two is not a twenty percent; it's way more. One reason for that is if you look at the nihility cast in the game, in order to run like a perfect team for Akra and maximizing her value. You probably want to run like Pella as her best in slot. Some people choose Silver Wolf, some people choose Black Swan as a supportive role weld. And your other options in your second slot are just not as good as Pella. Um, and you can really feel it in that way currently in the game. And moving forward, you will always have to run like triple nihility in your comp, which is pretty restrictive in my opinion. Come to the flip side, once you get E2, what you are then, then able to do is get rid of any of these other like non-super synergetic characters and swap in a character like, for example, a very good character in your account, like maybe Ronme, who is like super, super strong, a very generic damage buffing. You can fit in like any other Harmony character that you have on your account. I don't know, maybe you have Sparkle, maybe you have Bronya, and just giving the naming examples of other good characters in the game. But this E2 is really, really massive. I think it's a really good idea. But you don't have to get it now. Pull it on a rerun. But now, let's that, that huge summary aside, now let's go into the proper testing. Some of you want to see some numbers and we have prepared for them in this video. Do comment if you appreciate me giving you a summary up front and this was very expensive to do because if you have already realized we actually did like E1 all the way to E6 showcase on our other account. My main account here, this is my main of course. Not that lucky, had to spend quite a bit of money. But guys, um, enjoy the rest of the clip and we'll talk through our damage and what we see too. So for Good Night Sleep Well to activate this full effect, we have to get the maximum buffs on, uh, de or debuffs on the enemy so that you can get the 3 stacks of Good Night Sleep Well at Super in position 5. So I have to man manually control this this time. Let's use this. Let's drop some weakness. Okay, so I have my out out, but the... Um, they haven't been defense shredded yet, so what I'm just gonna do is just play like basic attack them. This combat needs a this is double speed. Okay, perfect. So five mobs on the field. What I'm gonna do is just gonna out here. This guy, as you can see, he has two debuffs. Um, we have like two debuffs here. Or is this considered a debuff? Let me just check. This is Crimson Knot. I guess it's considered as a, a debuff, right? So as much debuff as I have on this guy. So I want you to focus your attention on first the overall number and the damage that's on this guy as well. So let's use out. So 
So total damage roughly around 350... 350k? So that's a, that's a pretty good number. Let's now swap out. So we're going to just mirror the exact same thing that we did. So we did E here. With a basic attack from Lorta. Followed by this. So similarly to the first round, there wasn't like Lightning Witness. That's the most important part because you don't want the rest shred from Silver Wolf interfering with this. Okay, now she has a script. Okay, so similarly, we're gonna hit this. Mm, one more here. Okay, and we have still five mobs, so the number was I think 350k previously. Um, let's take a look now. We have to like make sure we focus on the right target because he has like four debuffs. He has like three now. But this doesn't really matter because the number of debuffs don't increase the damage for this like cone. This is the S1 test. So one, two. Okay, so, so what are my takeaway thoughts from seeing the along the passing shot versus good night sleep well? Definitely for sure good along the passing shot is way, way better than good night sleep well, even at Super Imposition 5. And granted, like uh, Silver Wolf and Pella, both of them have a lot of debuffs in their kit. Some of you might not have nihility characters that are that quick at planting that three debuffs in an AoE fashion, but these two characters do it very well. So I think that um, along the passing shot not only beats in terms of damage, it also beats in terms of consistency as well. You get tons of consistency because you don't care how many debuffs the enemy has. Maybe they have like self-cleanse or whatnot. If you start fighting enemies with cleansing every time, or your debuffs last a very short period of time, along the passing shot actually has a lot more utility. And you can see from that 20 to roughly like 30% damage increase, I do think this light cone is actually pretty, pretty attractive as well. But now that we have seen the damage test and we compared the two, let's do a bit more fun one. Let's now take it a bit st a step further. And from the damage that we saw previously, I'm going to actually now be activating E2 on my account. I can't redo this, so hopefully it's a very nice, smooth take. What I'm going to be doing is swapping out Silver Wolf for Ranmei. And I want to exactly see like what is the damage difference uh, between both of them as well. Every petal hole will be swept away by the wind. You chose the wrong enemy. Okay, so let's do this. I weep for the departed. It takes a fall. 825k and if you're wondering do you want to go for even more in future like save up for a really really long time i have a video on e4 and e6 as well to see the damage difference between all of the islands check it out on the channel i think you'll find it very exciting if you want to just see big pp numbers from a free to play ish kind of either uh no pull account for acheron e6 but yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you found this video helpful leave a like comment subscribe for more of such future videos and see you in the next one